I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's a look at your forecast. And as we look ahead today, it's still going to be very warm to humid. In fact, our high temperature today is probably going to be around the lunch hour, right around 86. I think our driest, sunniest part of the day is early. Mix sun and clouds. Then you get anywhere at and after 11 a.m. for Syracuse, earlier to the north and west, later to the south and east. We'll start working in a threat for showers. Now, it's not going to be once the showers start. It just doesn't stop raining. That's not the case. Anywhere between 11 a.m. and 8 p.m., we will have a risk for a passing couple of scattered showers and storms, but it shouldn't be raining for nine straight hours. That's very unlikely. But notice how we finish the day in the 70s. Yeah, that's the cold front going through at around 3, 4 o'clock, and then temperatures start dropping after that. So what are we expecting? Well, we look ahead today and we are tracking some thunderstorms for you and it's still really humid today. Hit a high of 91. Well, today we shouldn't make 90 because of extra clouds, but still sultry on the humidity dial. Ahead tomorrow, it's a refreshing remix. It should be comfortable on Thursday. The dew point, which will be near 70 today, will be in the upper 40s tomorrow afternoon. That means it feels crisp. At the same time, it's not going to be cold. Look for highs in the mid to upper 70s. A little bit chilly for this time of year, but I think that's going to be fantastic. Good open the windows kind of day tomorrow. Then looking ahead past that, it's a flawless Friday. That's the third one in a row, by the way, with sunshine and upper 70s to near 80. As we look ahead of the weekend, I think Saturday should be dry. Saturday night and Sunday is our highest risk for showers and storms, as you'll see. Now, here's your future cast. You'll notice hour by hour that the North Country will get its showers and storms earlier, maybe around 9, 10, and then watch Syracuse, probably more like 11. There's an opportunity for a passing scattered shower, thunderstorm, and then our highest risk for scattered showers and storms looks to be during the midday and afternoon. After that, we finish off the day cloudy and cooler. Ahead tonight, lingering cloud cover, maybe a sprinkle, and then by tomorrow morning, skies clear. And we should be on our way to a fantastic day on Thursday with sunshine, a few fluffy clouds, and as mentioned, extremely much lower humidity. I mean, it's just, it's going to be so unbelievably different on how the humidity feels tomorrow versus today. Highs in the mid, maybe upper 70s. Thursday night to Friday morning, clear. Maybe a few lake effect clouds east of Lake Ontario. But other than that, it should be amazing on Friday. Just a spectacular day. Look at all the sunshine we have for you hour by hour on Friday. High temperature in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Now, the amount of sunshine we get today is not going to be that overwhelming. Maybe 30%. That might be pushing it. 80% sunshine on Thursday and 90% sunshine on Friday. The chance that you get any showers and storms today, pretty high. Two out of three chance. 66% probability for that. Notice the probability for Thursday and Friday, very, very low. So it's probably not going to do anything. Now, I've left a one in three chance of thunder Saturday. I'll tell you this much. I might even have to reduce this lower. The real best chance is Saturday night, I think. Well, Sunday and Monday, those are your higher risk for showers and storms. Let's have a look at the seven-day forecast. The normal high is around 82, so we are at least that high, if not a little higher than that today. We'll be a little below normal Thursday and Friday, but not drastically. A nice, refreshing breeze, too, tomorrow, and a high of 77. Mostly sunny on Friday, 79. Let's just call it mainly or completely dry Saturday, low to mid 80s. Scattered thunderstorm with some sun on Sunday. Notice the cool down on Tuesday, and that looks to end, continue for the end of the week. Well, this is what it looked like at 7 a.m. satellite wise. Still got to get through scattered showers and storms you see to our west. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Anytime, anywhere, cnycentral.com.